Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So you know I've been praying for us, right? And um, even before I get into what it is that I have to say for today, I just kind of wanted to backtrack a little because I don't feel like I made myself clear yesterday, my message clear. So I just want to spend just a moment talking about that. Um, in essence, I was saying, you know, sometimes we say we need a thing, but actually it's just something we want. But I was talking about with uh, God and the presence of God, being in his presence. I believe that there's a time in our lives when we really don't understand that we need him. Um, and then I believe there can be a place in our lives where we are clear. There, There is no doubt about it that we need him every day, every hour, every minute. We need him. But I think there can come another place in our lives where we don't just know that we need him, but that we truly, truly want him. And I believe that when you decide, when, when you make up your mind that you want him, that goes beyond the simple fact of knowing that we need him. I mean, that's, of course, it's great for us to know that we need him. But I think that next step of commitment, that next step goes beyond needing into a place of desire. And I was just saying that I want to grow from the place of just knowing that I need him, but that I want him more than I want anything, that I want his presence, that I want his wisdom, that I want the, the I want to see his glory. And so as we progress in our Christian life, let's go beyond knowing that we need God into a place of wanting him. OK, so as a recap and hopefully some clarification from yesterday. But this morning in my quiet time, um, I saw this. It was like a, a vision or a, it was like I have these little mini dreams. So it was kind of like that. And um, I saw this it was like this tall building and you know how um the ledge of a building is up higher up higher <laughs> the ledge of a building is up higher than than the place where you stand and um it was almost like the ledge was casting a shadow um back towards the building and um i saw this girl standing like in the shadow um, and she, you could see she was looking at the ledge and it's like, she was looking at this ledge with the desire to get up onto the ledge and to jump. Um, and at first, when I first kind of came to myself, I thought that it was like a possible suicide, um, possible suicide attempt that somebody was really just trying to get the quote unquote nerve to get up there and jump. But then I realized that it was more of a spiritual thing and that this was someone contemplating taking a leap of faith. And um, that high ledge, whoever you are, that high ledge is really your friend. You know, we can be in a low place <laughs> and jump and number one, you're not going anywhere, not not anywhere productive. But also, if you can jump and bust up some ankles, mess up some knees, whatever. Um, but this place that I saw was the place that this young lady needed to be. She needed to gather the courage to get onto that ledge and jump. But this is her time to fly. This is her time to fly. And so whoever you are, you know, once you've heard the Lord say to take that leap, I'm praying that you're able to gather all the courage you need. I need you to know, like taking that leap, it's not convenient. Rarely is taking a leap convenient. It's not comfortable, nor most times it's not sensible. It doesn't come at a time when it makes sense to jump. But once God tells you to leap, oh, leap, baby, leap. Because that leap isn't 
taking you into a plummet. That leap is taking you into a place where you're going to be able to soar. I believe that that wind is going to get up under your wings and it's going to lift you higher. Well, this has been One Moment with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. But flying is in your future. And you know what? I said, young lady, there was a young lady in my, in the, in the little vision that I had. But I want to encourage you, man, woman, boy, girl, senior citizen, uh, adolescent, whoever you are, if God is telling you to jump, then make that leap. Make that leap of faith and watch it all pay off. I love y'all.